Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Explorer. We're going to cover our complete guide video here, which covers all the standard equipment plus the different packages and standalone options that are available on the limited trim of the 2023 Ford Explorer. So if you like videos like this or you like to stay updated on Ford news and information, then you might like our, our YouTube channel. Hit that uh, subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you stay notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So as I mentioned, we're going to cover uh, all the standard equipment first, plus the different packages available, a couple different equipment groups, including the hybrid that's optional, as well as standalone options uh, at, in, in, on this video. So it's going to be a very long video. So use the timestamps down below to move around in the video uh, like you need to. This is a resource for, for you. Uh, if you're wanting to think and maybe that you want to order a, a limited trim Explorer, this video should help you out and give you some great information of whether or not this is going to fit your wants and needs and what other different packages and options you can add to this order as well. So order banks are open up for the 2023 Ford Explorer and we are taking orders. We have information about a special YouTube offer that we have for free shipping. We'll talk more about that and our pricing at the end of video. And there'll be a timestamp down below for that as well. So let's go ahead and dive in, talk about some of these uh, standard mechanical features uh, on the limited trim on Explorer first. All right, we're going to start talking about these mechanical features. And to do this, we are going to use Ford's build and price website to do this. So we're going to go to uh, SUVs and crossovers at, on Ford.com. And then we're going to find the Ford Explorer right there, 23, and we're going to hit the build and price here. So with this, uh, of course, this is gonna, we're going to hit start your own build is what we're looking for. Um, and then... It is acknowledging that there are some supply issues and such. Um, some things are in high demand and such. Okay, so we have covered a video. We've done a video on the base model, the XLT, and the ST line. And now we're working towards the limited. So we're going to talk about the limited here and what's available there. And you can actually you can pre-select the hybrid here. But we're going to go into it because there's three different um, equipment groups for the limited trim. Uh, there is what we call the 300A, then there's the 301A, and then there's the 310A, which is the hybrid trim. So we'll, we'll cover the standard first, and we'll talk about each one of those when we get into it. So start your build, and that brings us in here, and we're going to go to the powertrain to start with here and kind of show you. So it actually does show you there uh, what the options are. So standard on the, the 300A, and if we go to packages here, you can kind of see that. So there's 300A, 301A equipment, and then there's 310A. So hybrid would be your 310A. So uh, when we're talking about this, the standard on the 300A is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology, which means if you come up to stop light and stop sign, you press the brake, it's gonna shut the vehicle off. Let go of the brake, it's gonna turn it back on. Now, auto start stop can be deactivated for each engine cycle by pressing the A with a circle around it. Somewhere on the instrument panel, uh, you should see that switch there. Uh, also, it's gonna come standard, uh, of course, come with a 10-speed automatic transmission uh, for the vehicle, and it'll come standard in rear wheel drive. Um, but have the option for an intelligent four-wheel drive system. Uh, so that system will get you the train management uh, switches um, and that system there that allows you to just shift that drive mode to whatever uh, to, uh, that matches your terrain that you're on, whether it be snow, whether it be, you know, um, maybe sand, different things like that. It's going to change those different drive modes for that terrain. So real easy to use, very intelligent four-wheel drive system for you there. So that's available on the 300 as we're talking about we'll get into the hybrid and such when we get into the different options here and the different equipment groups in just a little bit now also you're, it's going to come with a 358 non limit slip rear axle for the the rear wheel drive and the four wheel drive front and rear stabilizer bar independent front and rear suspension as well so it's going to give you a great ride even to cut, take care of any of those potholes imperfections in the road Electric parking brake with auto hold, which means if you do come up to the stoplight, stop signs, that stoplight's long, you can uh, hit press the auto hold button switch. It's right there by the rotary dial shifter. Let your take your foot off the brake, and it's going to hold that brake for you. Also, it's going to come with hill dis, hill start assist on all vehicles and hill descent control for the 4x4s as well. Now, you also get the electronic power assist steering, which is that e-pass system. So uh, what's great about it being electric and controlled there is, is that at slower speeds, it's a lot easier to turn, get into those parking spaces. But on the highway, it's going to you know stiffen that up um, and even include side wind stabilization as well so that that, side, that wind doesn't hit you from side to side. Being here from Kansas, it's very flat in western Kansas. 
comes in real handy. Now, uh, that's all the mechanical features I wanna talk about that are standard equipment. We'll get into the hybrid and what features are included in the hybrid technologies when we get to the optional equipment groups uh, after we get to the standard equipment. But first, let's talk about that. And in doing so, I wanna to move to the safety features, which I actually did a video that covered all the standard safety features. And it's the same safety features as we have seen in the other three uh, trim videos. So check this video out that I recorded on the base trim with all the safety features uh, that are included. Now, I'm talking about some of the safety features. First, talk about the different airbag system that's in the vehicle. So you will have a driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag. That means it deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. So you're real close, deploy a uh, smaller airbag. If you're further away, a bigger airbag. It really just depends on how far you are. It does have a, a sensor underneath that seat that they know, the system knows how close you are to the steering wheel to deploy the correct size airbag. Also front seat side uh, impact airbags. So they'll be on the side of those seats on those front seats. Uh, if you have a side collision on the AB pillar, it's gonna go in, uh, it's gonna force expand and protect you from any kind of side collision and that being collapsed into you as well. Also, you do get the driver and front passenger both will get a knee airbag. So for the driver, it's gonna come down from that steering column for the passenger out of that glove box to help protect from any front collision and that engine coming in to you in the cabin. Also safety canopy uh, side curtain airbags with a rollover sensor. So basically if the vehicle ends up rolling over, it's gonna pull those uh, coming down beside it to help from breaking glass coming into the vehicle uh, that way as well. So a great airbag system here. Uh, with, they call, Ford likes to call it the personal safety system because uh, you are kind of uh, keeping you protected in the, those collisions there. Now let's talk about some other ways uh, to protect you if you're driving along. So th there is one way to help uh, hopefully prevent you from having any kind of accident, and that is advanced track with roll stability control and curve control. Uh, the goal, goal behind this is to keep you on your intended path. So maybe you're going to that curve a little too fast. Use a series of brakes around the vehicle and the wheel that it needs to, to help you keeping going where you need to go. Whether it be slick outside, maybe you just went in that curve a little too fast and you're trying to slow down and then keep control, it's gonna do that as well as well as that roll stability control too. Now, if you are in an accident, maybe you uh, you did get in an accident, you're off the side of the road, need help, does have SOS post grass alert system that honks a horns, flashes lights, so people know that to come to your safety. You also do get 911 assist, so that allows you with a Bluetooth enabled phone to call 911 directly. And even we'll ask you and respond if you are not you know, using that and calling out, it's gonna ask you and maybe even call 911 directly if you, if you don't respond to the system as well. You get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, which means if you're going following somebody behind you and they're going much slower than you, maybe you have the brakes on and you're not paying attention, talking to someone else or something, it's going to be used as a series of tones that you need to stop. Preload those brakes uh, with that brake support as well. So that way, when you hit your brakes, you're going to stop even faster. So it even puts a, a little thing on your productivity screen as well that, that blinks red, letting you know that there's someone stopped ahead of you. Also does have co post collision braking. So if you do get an accident, maybe you're unconscious, you're not able to put it in park, um, then it's gonna break the vehicle so you don't have, any, you know, don't roll off off to the side in, a, in an unsafe situation, uh, worse than you already have with that, that accident there. Also, you do get a lane keeping system. So that lane keeping system is a great system. Part of the Copilot 360 suite of features that you're gonna get with this. Uh, that uses three different uh, functions behind it. One of them is a driver alert feature that's gonna alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, alerts you and lets you know that. Also, you do have a lane keeping aid system or an alert system, or you can use them both. So the uh, the alert system is gonna do is it'll allow you to leave your lane, but when you cross over those lines, it's gonna vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. Or you can use the aid system, which when you get over to those lines, will try to keep bring you back. It has to see those lines. Some some roads don't always. So this is an assist feature. It's not a autonomous driving by any means to help you keep in your lane but it's a great system. If you use those together, it'll still bring you over, but when you get to the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you're there. Also, last thing on the safety feature I wanna cover is the security lock passive and a theft system. Basically means the coded key is the only one that can start the vehicle. So it automatically locks the steering column uh, for you uh, so that you can't start the vehicle unless that key is in the vehicle or if the key, if it has an actual key, that it puts it in there and turns that. So it has to have that the correct coded key for that. So really nice on how that all works as well. So that's all the little safety features. Let's take, let's now get into the uh, styling exterior look of the base trim and what it looks like. 
Now let's talk about the exterior features and doing that, we're gonna start with the different colors available. So uh, let's start here with the first dot. That is your agate black metallic. Second color here is your carbonized gray metallic. Then you do have the star white metallic, which is 795. That is a tri, tri coat, three coats of paint for that. We also do have the stone blue metallic, which is 495. That is a tinted clear coat that's available. Uh, we do have the forged green metallic. Atlas Blue Metallic. We do also have the Jewel Red Metallic, 495. That is a, probably a clear coat there. And we also do have the Rapid Red Metallic, 495, which is also a clear coat. And we do have the Conic Silver uh, Metallic. So we're those are our different color choices for us here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see. I always like to try to pick a color here that I like. Let's go with the Stone Gray here, or the Stone Blue, I should say. Uh, for this video here. Now, let's talk about the extra styling here. You will see, of course, this one does have active grill shutters, so they'll open and close when it needs to. Uh, nothing you have to do on your your part. It'll just open those up when you're going slower speed to allow for air to come in and cool off the engine, and then shut those on highway speeds uh, to allow for a little bit better aerodynamics to the vehicle. Now, check out the dedicated grill for this trim. So it'll be a bright silver painted mesh with the chrome bars going across there. So again, really dresses this up. This is the limited. This is that luxury a trim, a trim here. So you're gonna see a lot of those luxury features coming through here. The upper bumper is gonna be body colored. You're gonna see that here. The lower is gonna be that molded in black down here. So that helps protect it and such. Uh, you will also get the, for the headlights, configurable daytime running lights. So they can be configured to be on during the daytime if you want it that way. Uh, that is a uh, setting you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. You do have LED low beam and high beam headlights. Uh, so LED is so much brighter, so that's real nice. They're coming standard with LEDs. Auto headlights as well, so that means they'll come on automatically when it gets dark. Shut off when it gets light if you have it in the auto setting for your headlight switch. Also do get LED signature lighting. That's this light right above here on the, on the top. Also get LED fog lights, which is located right down here. So full LEDs, LED low beam, high beam, LED signature lighting, LED fog lights. I got you all covered here. Uh, you do have wiper activated headlights. Some people call it the rain lamp. So when you have your wipers on, headlights will come on as well. And speaking of the wipers, it does have rain sensing wipers as standard equipment. So if you have it in one of those intermittent settings for your wiper, starts to rain, it's gonna start wiping it. It rains harder, it's gonna wipe faster. Also, you do get auto high beams as well. So that means just like your automatic headlights will do, if it's real dark outside, it's gonna turn those high beams on. Someone approaches you, you're in the city lights, it's gonna shut them off for you. So it's gonna do it automatically. So that is a feature also, just like the uh, configurable daytime running lights, you can uh, turn on and off uh, from your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Now the front skid plate is gonna be silver up here as well. Again, dresses that up a little bit, gives it a nice look to it. Uh, you do get 360 degree camera. So it's camera under here, as well as the side mirrors in the back to give you a split screen view. So the one side is gonna be completely around the vehicle, kind of like looking down on it and be able to see what's beside you, behind you, in front of you. And the other one would be your backup camera, or if you have it in drive and you turn your camera on, it'll be the front camera up there too. Also, you do get acoustic laminated windows on those front side windows, as well as you're gonna already get it on the windshield as well. Helps uh, make it a little bit quieter in the vehicle, but also uh, protective as well on the front windshield uh, with that sheet of plastic in between so that if something hits it, it's not gonna break and, and shatter and come into the, to the vehicle that way. Um, so let's move around to the side. We do have the 20 inch uh, premium pl uh, painted wheel over here. So very dedicated wheel, chrome looking wheel there. All season tires that kind of come standard with it. it. Does get tire pressure monitoring system as well as the standard duty front and rear brake calipers. Also going to get the um, four wheel disc brakes with analog braking system. Um, also, you're going to get the um, couple things here that on the um, the hybrid. I want to make sure I, I talk about when we get to the hybrid v, uh, motor and such that you get. You also get the wheel lip moldings. Uh, that's going to protected on the outside you're going to get that on the rocker molding the side door molding you're going to see nice chrome accent as well in there too and then that rocker molding continues and that black molded in black continues around there as well see that same coating here on the outside of the mirror i believe too no actually get a gloss black so they're going to be painted gloss black on the outside of the mirror cap which is really nice to have there also the side rails are going to be a kind of a satin finish up there so a nice dresses that up a little bit as well um 
And then also you're gonna have the power folding feature with auto fold for your mirrors. So they will fold in and even when you lock the vehicle, they'll automatically fold in for you. And when you get in, they'll automatically come back into position. Power heated glass as well, security approach lamp as well that'll light the ground beside the vehicle. And we'll get your bliss with cross traffic alert. So blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It's going to alert you as well. Uh, in a series of tones, you don't need to back up. Also puts a message on the productivity screen too of which side they're coming from. Also, your door handles are a body color door handle with the bright accent uh, there. So if we flip this view, I don't know if you can see that. It has a, a bright accent on the door handle itself there. Uh, you do have four door intelligent uh, access. So any of those doors, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to unlock it as long as you have the key fob in your pocket. Get out, out of the vehicle, just press the ridges and it'll lock it up as well. So that's real nice to have. And it will have the keyless entry remotes, uh, as I just mentioned with the passive key, which okay. means there's a key in the bottom of it. Um, and so if you need a key to unlock the vehicle, you just take the key out. It'll be already in that remote. Also you get remote start system with it as well. So you can remote start it when you're close enough proximity of the vehicle. On the outside, you have the keyless uh, secure code, keyless entry keypad. So you can use that if you don't have the keys on you. You can still at, set up your own code to be able to get unlock and lock the vehicle. Privacy glass on the, these the second row windows, these third row windows in the back glass. And child safety lock on those rear doors. So that way you can protect it. That way kids can't open it when you don't want them to. The fuel tank is a 17.9 gallon fuel tank here. You will also get the EC Fuel Kappa's filler door. So you just press that door open uh, and then there's no cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Um, and then a double door system in there. You just put the nozzle in there and it fills it up. Uh, those does have two latches in there. So you will need the exact size nozzle you get from the fuel uh, pump there. If you don't have that, you want to use the funnel that's provided. Also perimeter alarm. So, you know, when you lock that vehicle up, nobody inside, it's going to give it that, that complete security so if somebody breaks the glass tries to get in unlock the doors it's going to set off the alarm uh, those lights go off the horns go off and everything also if they try to jack the front or back of the vehicle up to take your wheels same thing's going to happen to them so that's pretty great and how that works on the back back here you're going to have body colored rear spoiler on the back high gloss black pieces coming down center high minute stop light up here on the back uh with the that's your third brake light rear defrost with a washer with a rear wiper back here as well um LED tail lights back here, so full LEDs. Headlights, tail lights, fog lights, it's all LED back here. Nice chrome applique back here in the back uh, to kind of dress that up as well. Molded in black, rear bumpers back here with the silver skid plates underneath there. It does have the reflectors on there, so that you're gonna people will see you if you're you're stopped inside the road. It does have a chrome a bumper pad up here as well, chrome accent. It's gonna be molded in uh, black with a chrome accent on it, kind of again dress that up as well on there. A rear view camera as well, so you're gonna be able to see as you're backing up, also rear parking sensors that will also alert you if you get too close to anything on the back there. Um, also, let's see here, uh, the exhaust tips, you have dual exhaust with the chrome exhaust tips. And uh, so I think I got all that all covered there. Also, you do have get trailer sway control. You also get power lift gate. So you can use the little button underneath the lift gate, or you can use your remote to open up that lift gate for you. Mini spare inside that'll be tucked underneath the uh, cargo floor. Um, in fact, speaking of that, you do have a little couple section there where you can uh, separate that cargo floor underneath there and uh, you kind of protect it. So you have kind of a flat low level, but you can take that out, st store stuff underneath those and put it back, which is really cool. Also get cargo net hooks inside. So if you want to add the optional cargo uh, package, you can. Also, the um, do you have the tie down hooks in there as well and rear cargo light and you get a uh, rear cargo area PowerPoint as well back there in the back so for you. So again, uh, that's uh, some great safety, uh, great uh, features here that dresses this up on the limited trim, give you nice chrome accents around the vehicle uh, that really gives it a, a nice luxury look to the vehicle. Let's go inside and let's talk about some of the interior features and some of the nice uh, luxury features you get on the inside too. Now moving to the interior, there are two different color environment of the interiors that you that you have available. One of them here is the ebony. I went in and selected it to cover it first. Uh, so the ebony, uh, you're going to see that environment, the dash and such is going to be your ebony. Upper part is going to be that light slate uh, upper. So the headliner, the pillars coming down, as you can see there, are going to be that that the uh, kind of the light 
slate, your visor covers, the console cover up here over the console and everything are going to be that color there. Also, the accent on the door is going to be what they call the no, uh, noise wave. Anyway, <laughs> different look here to that across there on that. So that should be the same whether it be a, no matter which color interior you get on the vehicle itself. So uh, just keep that in mind. Also, you're going to see the uh, silver, uh, satin silver twilight color on the uh, different on the, uh, over here on the doors, on door handles and such over there. You're going to see that on several places on the console as well. The surrounds are on that as well. And and down here as well on the console. Uh, high gloss black uh, accents on the center stack as well. You can see that across there on the knobs as well. So some great uh, you know accents to that uh, there on the vehicle. So you can kind of see what that looks like. The seats as well are gonna be that same color as well here. Now, if we go to the sandstone, which we'll probably use that for the rest of the remainder of the video, you can see there the difference. So sandstone headliner up here coming down the pillars, the visors and everything up there. Uh, as well as your seats are going to be that same color as well and your inserts into the door now if we go over here you can still see the dash pretty much is going to be the same color as the ebony so uh, as well your instrument panel applique will be the same your center stack will be the same console and everything will be the same as it was on the ebony um, the door itself you can see there you're again still getting this the satin finishes on the side and such but then the insert in the door is going to be that sandstone as well so uh, just a different two different color options for you to choose from door sill plates uh, when you're getting in the vehicle front and rear you'll get a bright insert on the front ones there uh, so kind of a chrome almost a chrome look to it you get illuminated entry as well with ambient lighting so uh, light up here on the uh, the, the uh, map lights up here at the top on the overhead console ambient lighting will also light up the, the footwells as well as the uh, product the media hub area as well with that ambient lighting you will get floor mats from uh black carpet uh with on the floor mats and uh, you will uh, they'll uh, also be carpeted for the front and as, as well as the rear so you're going to have that in the vehicle too the seats are going to be leather trim seating material so with the micro uh, perforated inserts as well with accent stitching on there you also you'll notice captain chairs here in the front so uh with a nice console coming through there you will get heated seat for the driver and front passenger and ventilated seat as well ventilated help cools the seat so it pulls that air through the seat cooling it off as well so it can and sense a heated and cooling there 10-way power adjustment seat for the driver eight-way power adjustment for the passenger over here so uh, for the passenger you have this lever up here you push it forward and back allows it to go forward and back the recline as well to go forward and back and you do get power lumbar and the, the cushion itself can go up and down and the driver's seat is going to be those same positions but um, you can extra two way so instead of just the seat itself going up and down the front cushion can go up and down as well there for you uh, the head restraint is a four way so to go up and down as well as ratchet forward if you need it um, forward and back as well for that seat now in the back you will see capsule chairs for the second row back here with the armrest uh, those uh, those also can go up and down and you do have a lever over here on the side for easy entry so that means you can lay that seat back down and then also pull it back up against that seat so you can get into the third row seat which is a 50 50 split bench seat back there when I, when I say split bench it can fold flat to the floor so you can get a flat load level in there for that seat uh, which is nice to have back there as well um, there are second row blinds uh, i don't know if you can really see it in this but there are back here on the doors you can pull up these shades and so in the back so that kind of helps out it already gets a privacy glass but that'll help out as well for that sun coming in also you do get heated seats for the second row seat uh, positions there you can see the levers under there as well those can slide forward and back as well we'll have the latch system lower anchors and tethers for children so you can securely fasten those rear and front facing car seats into that if you have a front facing car seat you can also latch it to the back keeping it back against the seat as well you do get rear auxiliary controls behind the console uh, so as of right now so last year they did have to remove those uh, when they had chip holds and chip issues not sure that the launch right now that's they're putting it on the order guide as a possibility and um, they have an order option for that of removing those but that is just an option just keep in mind that right now it's included in the order guide that they'll be on the back of the console but they might have to be removed uh at some point uh during the production also does have these usb ports usb type a and c behind the console as well so you can plug in different devices uh, you will also get the power windows 
front a one touch up and down feature for the front windows that means you just hard press it down they're going to go down automatically and uh, pull it up till you fill that collect it'll do the same thing going up for those front windows power door locks as well so uh, for the vehicle you will have for your steering wheel leather wrap steering wheel it is heated as well so leather and heated manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel just pull the lever underneath and it'll go up and down forward and back for you cruise control as well we'll talk about an advanced cruise control you get with this as well uh, you also get redundant audio controls and controls for the productivity screen 6.5 inch lcd productivity screen with the speedometer intact there as well through there um, you also do get push button start so that is going to locate it right back here uh, right back between uh, right underneath one of those vents um, also you get tri-zone climate control so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures and the rear climate can have different temperatures as well Bino audio sound system with 12 speakers, including a subwoofer and HD radio. You also get Sirius XM satellite radio, Sync 3 as well with an 8 inch LCD touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You also get Ford Pass Connect, which allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app you download. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times see the tire pressure on your tires the fuel you have in your vehicle even where it's located all through that app now on this uh, mirror i'm going to go to 360 view here you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror so you don't have a lever to worry about it's just going to automatically dim it when it needs to um also you up there you have a sunglass bend up there map lights or map yeah map lights as well and the visors will have illuminated vanity mirrors as well. So that means you just open, uh, when you have those down, open the door on the back side of that. It has a mirror in there with lights that light up as well. Um, now, down in the Media Hub area, you will also get um, the, you pull that little, push that little lever. It's a Media Hub area. It'll have a USB uh, port down there, a USB ports as well as a PowerPoint down in there. Wireless charging pad as well. So wireless to charge your phone. You also have gear shift uh, knob as well. And you're gonna get the on the floor console as well. We'll have a, a US a PowerPoint in there as well. Your auto hold and parking brake switches are there. And your um, if you have the four wheel drive, your train management uh, dial will be right between those uh, brakes and the console itself right there. So that's how that's gonna look there. Now, this does have the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package as standard equipment as well. Um, so I'm gonna go over this package uh, on its own. I did a video on another trim that uh, where uh, covered this package. So take a look at this. Again, the, remember this Copilot 360 Assist Plus package is standard equipment on the limited trim. And we're going to talk about the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. And this package is available as optional equipment on the XLT and the ST models, but is standard on your ST line, your Timberline, Limited, King Ranch, and Platinum models. So available in a lot of different trims here. Um, now, this, this one is called, it's including the Intelligent Adaptive Cruise Control with Stop and Go in lane centering so let me talk about those individually so adaptive cruise part of that is going to take that cruise control to the next level and so you can have that adaptive cruise set so if you come up behind somebody it'll slow you down to go their speed so you don't have to use the brake and you don't uh, come up behind them um, if you pass them and it's safe to resume it's going to speed you back up to your speed unless there's somebody else up there again now also we'll bring you to complete stop stop and go means it'll bring you to a stop without you pressing the brake in those types of situations if they take off and you can it'll start resuming keeping that distance behind them until you can pass them and you can speed back up also lane centering will keep you in the center of your lane a little bit different than your lane keeping which is actually can be activated with your cruise or not the lane centering is activated with your cruise control if you select it in your cruise control settings and it'll help keep you in the center lane. So it will not let you get over to the lines. Its goal is to keep you in the center of your lane. And the intelligent part of this is also going to be able to recognize the speed signs. So if uh, you are going along, let's say you can keep, and you can even put in the tolerance. I like to go five over. So let's say we're in a 70 mile an hour zone. My tolerance is set at, at five over. I'm going 75 miles an hour. If that speed sign changes to 60 in a construction area or something like that, it's gonna slow you down to go 65 because I have mine set at a tolerance of five miles an hour over. So that's a great system. Uh, really kind of helps with getting any kind of speeding tickets that you maybe don't realize the speed zone changed on you the speed traps that kind of thing this will help out with that also evasive steering assist uh, basically means if you're not able to stop in time and you need to avoid by steering it's going to assist in the steering around that it e makes it easier to steer around uh, the vehicle 
Also, you get the voice activated navigation system. That's the on-screen navigation system with, um, I believe this in here is gonna give you several months, uh, three years of service, I believe with that. Um, comes with the traffic and travel link as well with that system. So that's a, a Copilot 360 assist package is again, available on the XLT and that's T line and standard on, or uh, I should say available on the, the XLT and ST and standard on the ST line, Timberline, Limited, King Ranch, and Platinum models. Now, before we get into these other two equipment groups, let's talk a little bit. There's one feature I did forget to mention, and I, I like to make sure this is complete. So the Universal Garage Door Openers are included as standard equipment. Uh, I didn't include it because as I was uh, doing the recording it, I noticed it didn't, the image didn't show it, but it will have the Universal Garage Door Openers, three transmitter buttons on the driver's visor that allows you to be able to program garage doors and such like that to those switches. So that is standard equipment on the 300A. Now, let's go back up here to these equipment groups, talk about the 301A. Now, there's a typo in here, but 895 for the 301A equipment group. Still, We're still talking about the uh, EcoBoost motor, the 2.3 uh, liter motor, but this 301A equipment group does allow you, again, rear-wheel drive and optional four-wheel drive with this. Uh, with the 301A, so we're still talking about that engine. There are a couple things in here that are not included. So let me break this down because what you get as part of the 301A equipment group is the limited convenience package. And so let me go over the features that are included in that package. Uh, now you do get the driver memory as part of that package. So you're getting the driver's memory mirrors as well as a driver memory seat. So program up to like, I think three different dri uh, driver positions for that that's going to be included as uh in, as part of that also you do get the uh universal outlet in the back so you get this 110 outlet that is also included in the convenience package so that gives you an outlet behind the console for you also does give you the power folding uh, with auto fold mirrors power and heat as well we already talked about that but now you're upgrading and getting a turn signal indicator on the outside of that mirror as well Already get the security approach lamp, you get the memory and the the gloss black on the back of it. So now you're adding to the mirror features by giving you the LED turn signal indicators on the outside of those mirrors. You also get the powerful third row seats that is actually listed in here. So it's gonna allow you to, to power down the third row seat instead of having to do it manually for you. So that is also included in this. Also get power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So that steering wheel now electronically go up and down, forward and back as well. And usually is included in the driver memories all you, yet. It does not actually mention on here. So I wouldn't, uh, I don't wanna say that it does for sure on there. And then also the hands-free foot activated lift gate. Now that is in here on the order guide. I will tell you now, they're making a lot of the, the SUVs uh, remove the power, the foot activated lift gate. So I, I like to not you know mention it, but let you know it is, uh, they actually show it in here as an option to delete that. So I think at some point, you might have to remove that from that equipment group. So just so you know that that's a possibility, but it's supposed to be included as part of the limited convenience package. So that's all 301A equipment group. The rest of these features are actually included in the 310A, which is part of the hybrid. So let's talk about the 310A and what's included as well uh, on that package next. Now, when we go to the 310A equipment group, when we add that, we are also, when you click on the corner, you can add that. This is where you're going to the hybrid. So you're gonna be upgrading from the 3.3 liter or the 2.3 liter engine, uh, EcoBoost engine to the 3.3 liter hybrid engine, giving the 10 speed automatic modular hybrid transmission that goes along with that. Does upgrade your fuel tank to 18 gallon fuel tank. So it gives you another 0.1 <laughs> in there, but that is what you're getting with this. It will come only in rear wheel drive. So it's not available and uh, the, um, in, no, it is actually, it does also uh, come standard in the rear wheel drive, but you can optional, get the optional all wheel drive as well. So if we go to powertrain, you'll see that selected and you can actually go with intelligent four wheel drive system as well when you go up to that. So uh, there you go. So it kind of shows you right there that you do are adding that and you're removing that. So uh, you can go up to all wheel drive on the hybrid as well. So that's really cool to have that. So hybrid rear wheel drive or four wheel drive. Now also as part of that equipment group. So let's, there we go. And if we click on the eye, we can kind of go in there and we'll see if how many of these are correct. So <laughs> what you're getting as part of the 310A is you are getting everything that's already included as part of the limited convenience package that we already talked about as part of the 301A. So you're getting all those features already, the 110 outlet, the driver memory, the, the hands-free foot activated lift gate, which may be deleted in the future, uh, the upgraded mirror with the LED uh, turn signal indicators on the outside, 
the powerful third row seat, as well as the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. You also get upgraded to the, the 20 inch 10 spoke aluminum wheel. So upgrading that from 18 to 10 inch uh, wheel here. So that's nice or 20 inch 10 spoke wheel. <laughs> also does give you self sealing all, all season tires for your four wheel drives. So that's nice having that as well for you. Also does give you the active noise cancellation. So making it quiet in there. Of course, if you have a hybrid, you need a little extra can a noise cancellation because it's going to be really quiet anyway. So it kind of upgrades that. High series brakes. So you are getting the regenerator brake system with the the high the heavy duty brake uh, calipers as well. So that way it's going to help regenerate some of the hybrid and the electricity back to the battery so that it can function a little bit better. Your mini spare uh, as well is going to come with this. So you do get it even with this hybrid. You get the pedestrian alert sounder. So as you're backing up, you're going to get alerted uh, or you're going to alert people that you're backing up because you're in a hybrid. As you mentioned, regenerative braking down here. I mentioned that already. And then the 373 non limb slip rear axle for your 4x4s. Your two wheel drives uh, or your rear wheel drives, I should say, will get the 358 still, just like with standard equipment earlier we talked about. So those are all the features. And just double check in mind, that's everything I have here. So that's all included in that hybrid uh, package. Also, the fuel door, uh, they don't mention in here, also will get, instead of being able to push that door open, you will have to use the release inside on all hybrids. It's always like that. It's a locked door. There's a lever inside the door uh, for you to be able to pull that for you. So there you go. There's a, the 310A. So again, available in either the EcoBoost and rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, or you can get it in a hybrid rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive as well. So uh, several different configurations for you, and that's what's included as part of that 310A. Now we're going to start talking about some different optional packages down here. And uh, one of them I want to talk about at first is a limited technology package. It's $995. This package does require to have either the 301A equipment group, which gives you that limited, um, the limited convenience package, or the 310A, which also includes the limited uh, convenience package to get this package. So this package is going to upgrade and give you the Sync 3 system with the 10.1 inch uh, portrait style LCD screen. So instead of the side one, it's going to give you the up and down. So let's go ahead and add that here so you can kind of see what it looks like. So you're going to see that bigger screen in the uh, center stack. Also upgrade your Beano audio sound system to the 14 speaker, including a subwoofer. So upgrade your audio and upgrade your screen. Um, so there you can see now you get the portrait style screen uh, with that new uh, sync, the sync three. So the up and down 10 inch screen, that's what's included in this uh, in the limited technology package. So again, available in the 301A equipment group does require that convenience package uh, or the 310A, which already has that convenience package included. Now what I want to do is talk about the next uh, packages that are available. Um, outside of this limited technology package. And so these other three packages are also available in the other trims, and I've done a video on these. So I'm gonna show you those three packages. It's the class four trailer tow package, the cargo area management system, and the smokers package. So all three of those are optional available on any of your trims uh, or any of your equipment groups, I should say. And so go ahead and check these videos out. I, I guess, again, I recorded these on another video, uh, but they are available. And so here are your three other optional equipment packages. Let's talk about the class four trailer tow package. And this is available on the base trim, XLT, ST line, limited, King Ranch, and Platinum models. It's standard on the ST and Timberline models here. So pretty much available on all of the different trims here for you. And so this package here is going to allow you to be able to pull that trailer. So you're going to get a class four trailer tow hitch. So it's going to be that two inch uh, size hitch for you. It's going to also come with wiring. I believe four pin wiring that's going to go along with that. And you already get trailer sway controls, uh, standard equipment with this. But this uh, this package includes a couple of different features, the wiring and the hitch, so that you can go ahead and pull that trailer if you need to. Uh, I'm not sure. You'll have to double check the tow rating on that. Um, so, uh, cause it depends on which motor you have, it's going to have di different towing capabilities there for you. So you want to make sure if you have a trailer, you check and see what, uh, what expedition you're, or what Explorer you're looking for, what the maximum tow is going to be for, uh, for that. So you know if that's going to pull your trailer or not. So again, trailer tow package is available as standard equipment or as a, as a package available on the Explorer. Now let's talk about the cargo area management system. Now this, this one is available on all Explorer models. 
um, uh, but a standard on the Timberline model. So this uh, this package here uh, is going to include the cargo netting. Uh, so we really don't see an image of that. Cargo net actually allows you to be able to put like different things in it, so that way it won't move around in there. So you use the hooks up in here and the loops to be able to put, kind of position that in there, so you can put things in there that won't move around or roll around for you. Also, you get a cargo well rubber mat. So that's going to go down below there, so that way you can go ahead and you know put put that in there and cover it up. So and then you have a reversible load floor as well so um, now you'll notice too uh, these systems you already come standard equipment you can pull the little there's a, a, a floor there that comes up and you can put things down in there with the dividers in there as well so um, this is a, a real nice to, way to be able to if you put a lot of things in there you know the rubber mat in there the reversible uh, a load floor means that one side it's carpeted but on the other side it's going to be more all weather so you can turn that over so uh, for that so uh, again this is available uh, on all the different trim levels and standard on the Timberline. Now, a package that Ford is putting in here with the package and some trims that puts it in as standalone options. And usually a package means it's more than one feature. So this is available, the Smokers Pack is available on any of your Explorer models. And you're getting two things in this. You're getting a little cup here that you can put in the con in the cup holder. Uh, that allows you to put ash, uh, if you know, ashes from cigarettes in there, or if you want to use it as a tray uh, coin holder, you can do that as well. Also, then it comes with this lighter that will go in that PowerPoint uh, so you can, you know, for, of course, light those cigarettes and such for you. So this is a package comes with those two items for $75 and is available on all your Explorer models. So now we're going to talk about the optional equipment that's available. And these are these are standalone options, so available uh, all by them, the, themselves. Some of these will require certain equipment groups to get them. Now, first one to talk about is the optional wheel. So we did see the 20-inch premium painted alloy wheel. If you do want to go with this one here, this is the optional wheel. It is the 20 inch 10 spoke alloy wheel that's $700. This is the wheel that's standard on the hybrid, but is available on the 300 or 301A equipment group. So it uh, is available for that and uh, does give you upgraded uh, tires to go along with that as well uh, for the vehicle. So that is an option. So let's go ahead and leave that wheel on there. Moving down, uh, some of these equipment, these things are going to be things that I'll, I'll let you know are accessories that maybe you might think about getting later instead of putting on your build. So we'll talk about those as we go through these. So the first one is the splash guards. So $180 splash guards are something you can add to the vehicle to protect it. This is an accessory. So the dealership would install that for you at the same 180. So they wouldn't have to be able to charge you an install fee. That's usually different. Why well, some people want to do it that way because then they don't have to worry, don't worry about putting it on and the dealer would do it but it is holding up builds and they are easy to install. Um, so that is something you might need to think about whether or not you want to include those or not, but that, that is something that um, most of the, the vehicles are holding up your build from getting scheduled for production. The roof rail crossbars. So this goes uh, across uh, the, the roof racks. Uh, so it connects them to, you can put racks on top of it, you know, use luggage to store up there and that kind of thing. So those there you can add, those are also dealer installed option that will come to the dealership. I, that's something that shouldn't hold up your build if you want to add it and uh, be shipped ahead of time. And a lot of times either the dealer can put it, put them on for you. Or if you say, I only want to put those in there when I'm going on a trip, I'll install them myself. You can install them later. So they will be black by the way. Um, and a couple of different mirror options, as we mentioned, we have the 300A selected, but if we choose the 301A, it will select this other mirror that gives us the upgraded LED turn signal indicators on the vehicle as well. Uh, it does mention premium finish to the outside of those mirrors. Um, in my order guide, it mentions that those uh, mirror caps are, um, are gloss black. So they are gloss black, so which is the same colors they are for standard. So, um, And then moving down, we know that that's already included in the package. Twin panel moonroof is a factory installed option. You definitely would want the, to put it on your build if that's something you think you want. Twin panel moonroof there with the power sunshade that comes along with it. That, again, is a factory installed option. You want to make sure you order that. Um, and also uh, will be included in the front windows for global open and close. It means you can use your remote to open it up but open up those front windows as well as that power sunshade there too. So, um, Also, wheel locking kit. This is actually an accessory. You can get through Ford Accessories. But if you do uh, order that, the dealership would install that for you. They basically un take off one of the lug nuts of each of the wheels and put the locking one on there in its place. Um, engine block heater. This is actually a factory installed option. So uh, you can, uh, of course, keep that engine block heated up during the at night. It makes it start a little bit easier. If you want that on there, make sure you put that on your build. Have it done at the factory. 
A couple of these others are included in different packages we talked about already. You know, we talked about the Copilot 360 Assist package. That's why they're there. The best journey alert sounder, you know, we talked about as part of the standard on the hybrid. Also, this Bliss with the cross traffic alert and trailer coverage uh, does require the tow package. So we talked about it earlier. The tow package would also include getting the blind spot of the trailer as well when you add the tow package to it. Active noise cancellation was part of that 310A. That's why it's not checked there. Moving on down, we do have the uh, option we uh, mentioned, showed it earlier. The captain's chairs in the second row is standard equipment, but if you want to get the bench seat instead, you can add that option. It's a no charge option, but gives you the bench seat across there instead if you want. So that is uh, available. You can get in either configuration there. Same price either way. Uh, so you just choose what you want there. Um, also, you do have this in back here. You have the, the power third row seat, as we mentioned, as part of that package, that equipment group. Uh, that's why it doesn't have a price here. You do have the cargo mat, which, as you can see, is $160 for that cargo mat. You can lay back there in the back. Already has a, a, a low level back there. That just puts that in there and covers it up. Cargo mat is an accessories. It's listed under accessories. Shouldn't hold up your build, um, but it would go ahead of time, and the dealership would put it in the vehicle. Now, here's two things I would definitely just get through Ford Accessories website. There's no install included in these. Uh, it comes with all these different things. comes with a nice pouch. Again, you can get that through Ford Accessories website pretty easily, about the same price. And then there's this other kit. So the difference is some of these, they just get shipped to the dealership, and they cover all the costs of shipping and such, whereas you may have to pay for that shipping uh, if you did through the Ford's website themselves. But they always have coupons. They always have like special deals going on, like 20% off. That would cover any kind of shipping cost. Floor liners, you can get it with or without the floor mats. So that'll give you the all-weather liners. Those are a um, factory. They're, they're listing it under a factory accessory here. So it would be shipped with the vehicle if you do order it that way. You do have these two. I do recommend you get these through Ford Accessories website as well. Again, no dealer install fee, dealer install uh, needed. Um, they actually got these images backwards. Uh, whoever did the website done it on all the explorers. Um, notice that so far now, the, the fourth video I've seen it on. Soft-sided organizer, there's a standard size that normally gets three areas instead of four. And then there's the larger one that's supposed to give you four instead of three. So <laughs> that's just your different options. Again, go to Ford uh, accessories.ford.com and order those yourself. Driver memories and, and mini spare, those are all included in those different packages. Auto start, stop removal, $50 credit. They may require this option. Uh, that's why it's here, uh, because that, that might be something that they might require of you on your order. The all weather floor mat for the third row. So if you want to add that, there's two different options, whether you have the captain's second row or captain or the bench second row, you go with whatever option with it, whichever bench you have. And that gives you the floor liner. That is a dealer, uh, dealer installed accessory, which means it'll be shipped ahead of time and the dealer would give that to you. You also do have the cooler bag here. So this is also a Ford accessory item. I just get it through Ford accessories website. Um, the only reason I say that is it may not hold up your build. That's as long as they have them in stock. Uh, what if they're on back order? Then they will not schedule yours for a build date because of that one thing. So the more of these accessories that you put on your vehicle, the more uh, the chances is that you will not get selected for scheduling for your build. So keep that in mind. Also, we do have the uh, rear auxiliary controls credit. Again, there's that credit on there because if they need to remove it because of chip holds and such, they'll uh, do that. Also to go along with that is the climate controls uh, for the heated seats back there too. So your vehicle would come pre-wired with the heated seats, but would not have the control buttons back there for the second row heated seat. Uh, that's something that's on here that I don't see it listed in here. Um, also, the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, of course, is included in that 301A equipment group as well as the outlet. Uh, dual headrest rear seat entertainment system. That's a $2,000 that'll replace these headrests with uh, DVD players. Also, you can plug in, you know, USB ports, uh, thumb drives, that kind of thing into them to play different uh, things. You can, gaming systems can be plugged into them as well. Now, if you do get those uh, headrests, these restraints won't be able to ratchet forward. They'll just be a two-way. They'll go just go up and down for you. Um, that's available. Um, also, you do, as an option have here, is the uh, this might be added the 4G y LTE Wi Fi hotspot credit? So, because of chip issues, again, this too is an option that uh, your vehicle will come with. The, the I don't actually mention it in my videos, but when you when I talk about the Ford Pass Connect that allows you to be able to also use your vehicle as a Wi Fi hotspot, does cost you, I think, 10 or 20 dollars a month uh, to set it up in your vehicle for that, but would allow via, uh, phones, devices, iPads, and such to connect to the vehicle. 
uh, using that if you want. Um, otherwise, uh, if they have to remove it and give you the credit, then you will not be able to do that. Uh, so if devices will have to find some way, some other way of connecting to the internet if they want to use the internet in the vehicle. Also, hands-free uh, liftgate uh, delete is op on the order guide as an option. So just so you know that that could be put on the vehicle if it needs to. And uh, we did get a notice the other day that pretty much all the SUVs, Expedition, Explorer, and Escape, all were going to be those were all going to be removed from them for the 23 model year. So it'll probably be removed. Uh, on the Explorer, they might tell you that it's going to be removed as well there for you. So there you go. There's all the uh, options here for this year. I think I got them all checkmarked the last couple that I didn't forgot to check. But, yep, got all the optional equipment listed here. Uh, so let's uh, a couple things I want to cover in conclusion, and let's so let's talk about that. Now, in conclusion, I want to uh, tell you, too, that you can go down here, and you can actually get a summary of everything you ordered on the vehicle. So uh, we uh, chose this, the stone blue color here, which is an extra uh, – it's a cost color. It's a – I believe a tinted clear coat. Uh, we still have it selected as a, a 300A equipment package. So there's no extra cost for the package there because we selected that. We added the optional 20 inch 10 spoke alloy wheel, which is 695 more and didn't really add anything else as we went through there and selected it. But so that'll show you a breakdown of everything you selected. Show you that base price of 49070 and the option prices that we added uh, the color and the wheel together. Um, we didn't add any accessories to the vehicle. And then we do have the destination charge. That is a charge you will have to pay. That is what Ford's going to charge to get it from the factory to the dealership. That is the freight charge on the train, on the, the rail, um, the convoy and everything. That is that charge there. It's going to be charged no matter where you live in the country. You're going to have to pay that fee. That is not something the dealer's adding on. That is something the factory is adding on. So also you do have this acquisition fee that if you go into the calculator, that is for leases only. If you go to finance, you'll notice it disappears. It's no longer there. Um, but you can go in here, play with this payment calculator. Say, you know, I want to put $1,000 down instead. Maybe, you know, I have a trade that's uh, worth 5000 according to KBB or something, and it's paid off. Then you kind of helps uh, uh, adjust the prime, uh, the payments and everything. If you go in here and say, you know what, I want to select 60 months instead. And let's say you think you can get better than 4.9, which is what Ford is offering. At, that's That would be your locked-in rate right now, probably for uh, that. So Ford Credit's offering that till it says January 3rd. But if you order the vehicle, that would be locked in. Uh, if your dealership knows how to lock in the rates, Law MacArthur does, but not all the dealerships do. Um, and then also you collect that custom APR if you want. Say, you know what, I can get better through my credit union. Let's say it's three and a half, right? Then it'll kind of, if you save and close, it'll adjust and show you that what that payment's going to look like there. So, um, and then at this point too, uh, another thing I like to point out is that you can print this. So click the print button. Allows you to pull it up, print it on your home computer, whatever, and take that into your local dealer and say, this is how I like to order my vehicle. I want a limited 300A and all this stuff, and you'll just look like an expert, right? So you can do that. You can also hit the share button and share it to your dealer. So you can copy that. If you click that, it copies it uh, to your uh, browser. You could, if you just right-click, we'll paste it in, or you control control V, I believe, as well. Go to a uh, browser, uh, email browser, our email template and you can send that email to whoever you need to at the dealership whatever it might be this is how we'd want to have you send it to us if you want to order with us uh, then we can get that and we can print it off on our end and then fill it out and then send you back the order sheet so you can see what it looks like um, and it should match up to the price so that way you kind of know that as well so this pricing should match up pretty uh, closely to the ordering price as of uh, right now unless any kind of prices get increased uh, and such so there you go that's how that works um, and so yeah just keep that keep in mind you can order these right now you can order them um, uh, 23 explorers right now the order banks are open don't see that they'll be closed too soon um, they are not filling up that fast uh, so you could be able to order one of these explorers right now and get it uh, built fairly quickly now work with your local dealer uh, hopefully they know how to price protection works as well as your locked in rates as I mentioned uh, and price protection means that um, the price won't go up after you order the vehicle so if you order that vehicle today that is the price that you should be locked to um, and then if Ford decides to pr increase the price Ford does price protect those original orders to those prices for as long as the person that orders the vehicle um, also takes delivery of the vehicle. That price is price locked. A lot of dealers don't know how to work that. Uh, we do here at Law MacArthur. Uh, we also know how to lock in those incentives. So you can actually take the incentives of what they are when you order the vehicle or wh what it is when it comes in. You get to choose one or the other when you do your vehicle. And again, uh, dealers need to know how to 
be able to pull up those rates from when it was ordered. And here at Law MacArthur, we know how to do that. We also are pricing our vehicles at MSRP pricing. We do have a $500 dealer fee, a dock fee, as you might call it, administration fee, that kind of thing. Uh, we add nothing else to our vehicles. Some dealers like to add, you know, a clear comb protection or or they add some other products through aftermarket that um, aren't required. But some dealers require customers to, to add those to their vehicles for some reason. Uh, here at Law MacArthur, we don't do that. So if you want to work with us, we do have a special offer for you, and that is free shipping up to $1,000 if you finance with us at standard rates. So that deal is not compatible with the low interest rates and such that could be locked in. So keep that in mind. But if you're wanting it, you know, ordered uh, from a dealership that knows kind of what they're doing and have it shipped right to your door, it's something we can offer for you as a special offer for our YouTube viewers. So make sure you mention that when you call in if you want to order from us. Uh, if you'd rather, if there's a good locked in rate you'd like to have, not a problem. You can still order through us. Um, you know, that way you feel confident your vehicle is going to be ordered, price protection and everything. Just fly in, drive the vehicle home if you like to, if you want to take advantage of those low rates. So, uh, so yes, contact us if you have any questions about that, and you can order through us if you'd like to. Hopefully you did watch this video. If you did, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you did like this, you'd like probably some of our other product videos, so hit that red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time of another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our live streams. Every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central, right here on our YouTube channel, we do a live stream where we go over production information. So if you do have one on order, you want to stay up to date on whether or not they're going to schedule that week for an Explorer. Also, any kind of constraints that might come up or some things that you might think about on your order that is holding up the, the uh, for production. I go over all that information in our live stream as well as answer your questions live right there. So you can also listen to it uh, recorded if you want to just check out just some of the news uh information at the beginning of the live stream uh, you can also watch those and watch any for previous ones as well on our youtube channel too so i think you really like those so again don't, uh, don't forget you can also uh, connect with us on social media uh, law macarthur has a facebook twitter and instagram account we're at law macarthur on all those and if you want here's my link tree account uh, if you want to uh, connect with me on different social media sites check that out and that's where you can find me and connect with me on any of those different social media sites well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it stood up to your expectations for a complete guide video and we gave you all that content you're looking for. Feel free to use the timestamps down below. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget, stay positive, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. Until the next video, we'll see you later.